Yo, what's up guys? It's Trickies, and today I'm going to be making a very short video just addressing a huge problem for BO1 on Steam. And if you don't know, whenever you play Black Ops 1 and then you load up a public match, um, you're actually at risk heavily. And other players, if you, let's say you're the host of a Zombies game, the other players can actually see your IP address. And all you have to do is hit tab and then look in the bottom right and then your IP address is just right there on the screen. So be very careful whenever you're playing public matches. You want to make sure that you are not the host of the game. If you're not the host of the game, you're completely safe. There's like no way you can see your IP. Uh, but if you're the host, um, you can literally just, or anyone, anyone in the game can just hit tab and your IP is just right there for them. Uh, I don't know why this is a thing on Steam. It's been around forever. I don't know if they're going to fix it. Hopefully they do in the future. Um, that's why I'm making this video. I want this problem to be fixed. But for the meantime, I would recommend using a VPN to protect yourself if you're playing as a host. Um, if you if not, if you don't have like a VPN or anything, first off, VPNs are there's free VPNs online. But second off, you can actually just go in public match and make sure you're not the host. Uh, it's as simple as that. That's all you have to do. Now, for some reason, this is only on BO1. This isn't for BO2 or World at War or any of the other Call of Duty games. This is only for Black Ops 1 as far as I know. Now I would show you like an example, but I obviously can't for obvious reasons. You know I don't want to go in a public match and put some random person's IP just just on YouTube. So yeah, be very careful when you're playing with your friends and if you're you're streaming. Um, so let's say you your friend trusts you with his IP or whatever. Um, if you want to like stream your game or something, um, just make sure you don't hit tab. Uh, that's all you have to do if you're playing with your friends. Just don't ever hit the tab button. Now there is an alternative option, but it is a little bit harder to do. Um, it's still very easy. All you have to do is go on OBS and then add a window capture, um, and then and just find some random GIF or some kind of picture or something. And um, what you want to do is you just want to put that picture right over where the IP would be. So you would actually have to go in a game um, with your friend and then find out where his IP would pop up exactly. And you want to make sure to cover that on OBS with some kind of picture or something. So that if you do hit tab, his IP won't appear on your stream, and you'll be okay. And this is why for a lot of co-op games, you actually see people with pictures um, just like in the bottom right somewhere, like or some kind of GIF. This is why a lot of people play with GIFs or something in the bottom right, because they are trying to cover up their teammate's IP. Also, another thing that happens is uh, during some higher on games or some first room games, um, some people actually... Um, DDoS some people and made them lose their high round game or first round games. I'm pretty sure that happened during the uh, Jug Side World Record. Now the host can hit the tab button. If you're the host and you want to stream, you can. Anyone who is not the host, never hit tab on a stream because you're just putting people's IPs right out there on the internet, which you shouldn't do. Uh, I'm not making this video so you can do that. I'm making this video to spread awareness so that that stuff cannot happen to you. But yeah, I just wanted to make a quick video talking about it because I've not really seen any videos on it before, anyone talking about it. Um, it's very common knowledge amongst Iron players, but other than that, I don't really see anyone talking about it or, you know, not many people really even know this exists, which you definitely should if you play Black Ops 1 a lot because this is a very big deal. And yeah, so I just wanted to make a video about it because, I mean, I've known about it for years. A lot of people have known about it for a long time um, in the Iron community, but... Yeah, not many people other than that know about this, so yeah. That's all I'm going to be talking about in this video. I just wanted to spread awareness for that quickly, and um, try to spread this video around and get more people to see it, because this is a definitely a huge problem for Steam on BO1. Uh, now, if you're on console, this is not a problem at all. You don't have to worry about it. Um, there's no way that you can see it on console, but on PC, Steam, this is a very big problem. And so yeah, that's it. See you guys.